Hello folks, this is Nitin welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all your favorite digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data Hadoop, virtual reality and cloud computing. This is the continuation of previous uh, part 1 coding video of uh, Spark MLlib uh, based uh, machine learning model called multiple linear regression. In this part 2 coding video, I am going to cover the code uh, to perform uh, you know, some feature engineering steps since our data contains both categorical and numerical variables. I am going to show you how to separate out uh, categorical uh, and uh, numerical variables from the data set followed by usage of uh, methods like string indexer, one hot encoder, estimator and vector assembler. I'm also going to show you how to develop the pipelines in the Spark MLlib, which is nothing but sequence of stages. So stay connected uh, till the end of this video and this series to acquire complete knowledge in order to understand the best of both worlds. If you are new here, then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. where we left off in the last video okay uh, on this cell so let's move on to the next cell where I'm separating out uh, categorical features as well as numerical features from the data set please note that a city column uh, in our data set is categorical in nature and contains text values like Chicago M Mumbai and Tokyo we can't feed this kind of you know text based uh, categorical data to our machine learning models uh, you know for training purpose hence we will be uh, you know converting this categorical variable uh, called city into numerical values followed by performing one hot encoding of transformed values in the subsequent cell if you don't know about what exactly is one hot encoding then you can watch the video in the uh, i button above so in, in this particular cell, let's just focus on separating out these columns into categorical and numerical variables or features. You can use this same code if you have multiple categorical variables. So right now I have only city column as a categorical variable in our data set. Here in the cell, I'm making use of the for loop here. Okay. And uh, I'm using this for loop to access each item of uh, data dot D types, okay, which is a tuple of column name and data types as shown in this cell above here. You can see that it is a tuple of column name and its corresponding data type. So I'm picking up uh, the column name represented by item and in solid brackets zero. Okay, so this is the item zero and this is item one okay which is referred here okay so i am picking this column name which is represented by item zero if the data type starts with a string okay which is you can see is is the case here please note that item one represents the data type here okay which is this one this string is item one okay and if there is a match in terms of a string then so i am using this if statement here so if there is a match in terms of a string then i am storing that column or variable name in the variable called categorical calls okay so based on this if statement which is nothing but matching if uh, we have a string uh, data type then if it finds out that yeah there is a string data uh, type then it stores its corresponding column name into this particular variable called categorical calls right now we have only uh, one string variable or categorical variable called city hence it is showing the city here if you see the output so when i printed this categorical call value it showed the feature as city which is pretty much right okay in the next line i'm using the similar code to separate out numerical columns here the only two differences here are that uh, number one is that I have used the logical operator here. So if you see here uh, where this if clause is, uh, I am checking the condition whether the item one is starting with int or so this this is nothing but or logical operator and I am checking whether this particular uh, data type 
is double so if it is int or double then store the value of that particular column name in this numerical columns calls variable numerical underscore calls variable okay now the second difference is the usage of this index minus one here okay inside the solid bracket at the last at the very last here okay this index minus one is being used to exclude the profit column from the data set because profit is the label or dependent variable which needs to be predicted now when i printed the values uh, of this uh, numerical calls variable it showed me the all the columns which had uh, its data type type either as int or double since all of these has a double in uh, data type so we got these three variables in this particular feature set okay which is numerical calls you can also see that profit column is not listed he here right right and that is because we excluded uh, that particular column using this particular piece of the code so in the next cell i'm just printing out how many categorical variables we have and how many numerical variables we have here in this particular cell right so you can see that we have one categorical feature which is city and we have three numerical features which are miscellaneous expenses food innovation spend and advertising right and i have used this len method uh, to get the count of the columns and then i converted the values to a string using this str uh, method in order to concatenate with the string value enclosed in the inverted commas here okay so i can just uh, you know concatenate concatenate the string value hence i converted uh, this numerical value into a string here so moving on in the next cell i am importing uh, classes like a string indexer one hot encoder estimator vector assembler etc in order to make use of uh, corresponding objects down below okay it's here in this piece of code so in the next line i'm defining an empty stage vector and we will be building spark mla pipeline later down below and in order to build that pipeline we need to build a sequence of stages where each of the stage is either a transformer or a, an estimator so once defined these stages are then run in the order which is defined okay and the input data frame is transformed as it passes through each of these stages okay so in the next line i'm making use of for loop here to iterate through each categorical column present inside the feature vector categorical calls which is this so this is the feature vector containing all the uh, categorical columns so we have only one categorical column which is city okay so if you let us say had hundreds of uh, string column or uh, categorical column then you could have used this kind of a for loop as well okay in order to iterate through each of the uh, categorical column so inside this for loop i am creating a, a string indexer object here which can take categorical variables as an input and can convert it into numerical values like 0 1 2 so just to take an example uh, chicago can be converted to 0 mumbai will be converted to let us say 1 and tokyo can be converted to numeric value 2 okay now the question is how will a string indexer decide which value to assign to which category well the answer is the most frequently appearing appearing uh, category value will get converted to value numeric value 0 and least frequently uh, appearing category value will get converted to numeric value 2 so we can infer that uh, you know chicago was appearing in the data set maximum number of times hence assigned the value as 0 and tokyo was appearing in the data set uh, let us say least number of times hence it was assigned as a value or numeric value 2 please note that output call parameter will create a new column with the name as original name plus index okay so, or followed by index so city will become the column city will become city index okay in the next line i am converting the string indexed or numerically transformed 
categorical variables or values into one hot encoded values using the one hot encoder estimator uh, object here input calls parameter which is this parameter takes output column values of a string indexer and we can make use of uh, a method called get output call method uh, of a string indexer to access the string indexer output column values all right now the output calls parameter will create a new column with the name as original name which was categorical uh, we are accessing from here so original column name plus cat vac or, or underscore cat vac so next i am storing variables string indexer and one hot encoder or oh encoder uh, as stages of the pipeline okay so these are two stages for now of which i am storing in this stages vector okay next i am creating a variable called assembler inputs here which can take both numerical columns and transformed one hot encoded values of a string variable called city as you can see here so these are all numeric columns and uh, these are one hot encoded values here okay now i am creating a vector assembler object uh, okay so vector assembler is a transformer that assembles all the features into one vector from multiple columns that contain numeric data types okay so keep in mind it only takes uh, numeric data types so it is taking input in the form of assembler inputs which contain all of our columns uh, column values or features which are in numeric form including the one hot encoded values and then creating a single feature vector called features here later on i am adding this particular vector assembler okay uh, as one of the stages in the stage vector here okay so the st stages uh, vector now have a string indexer one hot encoder as well as vector assembler so three uh, three vectors it will contain in the next cell i am using spark ml libs uh, pipeline class to apply all the stages of the transformation defined above so i am first importing uh, pipeline class from pyspark.ml package and then accessing all the columns of this particular data frame called data okay so data is our data frame and i am accessing all the columns of it and storing all the column values in a variable called calls next i am creating a pipeline object providing a stage parameter as an input here okay then i am making use of fit method followed by transform method to uh, on our data frame called data so that all the stages gets applied to our data set called or data frame called data then i am selecting both feature column which is this one created uh, which was created as a part of vector assembler stage as well as all other columns of our data set which is depicted by this uh, calls variable and storing the entire columns in this particular variable called selected calls next i am making use of a select method on data frame called data to include all of these columns and lastly i am creating a data frame here okay which have only five rows due to this particular method take five so i am taking only five rows out of this data frame in order to show it to you and this column column parameter uh, value reflects all the columns to be included now this data frame is being created in order to showcase uh, the transformed data to you okay so please take a look at the feature column here you will observe that it's vec it's a vector of uh, different features right so these are first two are one hot encoded values this is mis miscellaneous expenses this is food expenses food innovation spend uh, value and this one is advertising value you will also observe that instead of three one hot encoded values it has only two one hot encoded values the reason for that is that one hot encoded uh, uh, estimator removed 
वन डमी वेरिएबल इन ऑर्डर टू अवॉइड डमी वेरिएबल ट्रैप इफ यू डोंट नो वॉट इज डमी वेरिएबल ट्रैप देन प्लीज वॉच द वीडियो गिवन इन द आई बटन अब इन द नेक्स्ट सेल इफ आई स्क्रॉल डाउन आई एम जस्ट शोइंग द डेटा यूजिंग डेटा डॉट शो मैथड ही सो यू कैन सी द फीचर कॉलम इज हियर मिसलिनियस एक्सपेंसिस कॉलम इज हियर फूड इनोवेशन स्पेंड इज हियर एडवर्टाइजिंग कॉलम इज हियर सिटी इज हियर एज वेल एज प्रॉफिट कॉलम इज ऑल्सो हियर so folks this is it for this video to conclude i showed you and explained various uh, feature engineering steps like string indexing one hot encoding as well as vector assembling in order to transform our data into desired format so that machine learning model can be trained on this data so let me ask you a question from today's video what is the role of the string indexer and uh, in which scenario do we use it in feature engineering step Please post your answers comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also post your technical questions in the comment section and I will try to answer the same. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching thank you